In today's video, we want to address some issues that customers have been experiencing with our step-in harness. When you unpackage the harness and lay it out on the ground and are ready to strap it on your pet, this is the way that it should look. You should have a belly band or a chest band down the middle. You should have a triangle here and a triangle here. And then the, your pet's um, front legs should go, one should go here, the other should go here. And then you should be able to pick up the harness, buckle like this, put the two D-rings together, and this is where you would attach the leash here. However, customers are letting us know that, that they're seeing twisted harnesses uh, that appear to be manufacturer defects. Um, and so we want to look at a few of the scenarios of what could be happening here. Um, so before you return the item, let's see if we can address and correct the issue at home. One of the things that we, we think may be happening here is this ring and this uh, buckle may be passing through this loop, which then, when you lay this out, results in the harness appearing to be twisted. So when you try to buckle, it buckles this way and the D-ring is then on the bottom. Or if you flip this over so that the D-ring is on the top, the harness then is significantly twisted and crossed over and appears to, to not be correct at all. So the way that you would then fix this issue is to take the buckle and you want to pass it back through this loop like so and then the buckle's untwisted. The second scenario that we think may be occurring is that when the harness is ready to go like this, that the D-ring is passing through the O-ring like this. So now when you attempt to buckle, the buckle's upside down and will not snap, not, will not work correctly. And if you try to turn it over, then the D-ring is on the bottom and it appears to be an issue there as well. So to fix that, you do have to kind of turn this D-ring sideways, and it does require a bit of force, but you simply push that back through the O-ring, and that should, that should correct the issue. The third scenario that we think might be occurring is um, going back to this, this first issue of the buckle passing through here, 
so that it twists. We think then that um, people may be attempting to correct it, but instead of passing it back through the same loop that it has been looped through, if you go through the other loop, well now you really have issues because both both are looped now and you can see here that both are both ends of this are twisted so to correct this we have to go back through each one of these and untwist and then the harness should buckle up correctly and you're ready to attach the leash to the D-rings.